Click clack, the teacher recorded the number of words her students could type per minute at the beginning of a course, and then again at the end, the two dot plots show the two data sets. So this is at the beginning, and then they transition, so they have class, and then this is the end of course data. A keyboard teacher wondered, do typing speeds of students improve after taking a keyboarding course? Explain why her question is a statistical question. So they're not asking us to validate whether it's right or wrong. They're asking us to decide if it's statistical. Well, she's asking, so I would say yes. She is asking many people. And they can provide, and the results will have variability. So it's a statistical question because she's asking many people and the results will have variability. So then, based on the dot plots, do you agree with, overall, the students' typing speeds did not improve? They typed the same speed at the beginning and at the end of the course. Explain your reasoning. Well, I disagree because she had students that were typing 8 words per minute, and then the lowest was 20 words per minute. And we don't even know if that's the same student. So I would say, no, I disagree. I disagree and my reasoning would be all students well can I really say that I don't know that all students improve because I don't know who that dot is I can say the lowest performing the low the slowest typer increased at least 12 words per minute because 18 plus 12 is 20. So 12 words, you know what? I'm just gonna erase this. I'm just gonna type it. So I disagree because the slowest typing speed increased by 12 words per minute. So I don't even know if that's the same student, but I know that the slowest typing speed increased by 12 words per minute. So then it says 20 words per minute is a good estimate for how fast in general the students typed at the beginning of the course. Well, I know that I have all of these dots. It's not telling me how many. So I'm going to count really quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 dots. So if I'm looking at 20, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's about the halfway point. So I would agree. So I'm just going to type my answer. I agree. Um, 20, because they're talking about at the beginning of the course, um, 20 words per minute is the halfway point. For the data. Or the center. Of the spread. So that's the other word you could use the center. All right. So then I'm going to look at based on the dot plot. Do you agree with 20 words per minute is a good description of the center of the data at the end of the course well I would disagree because when you look at 20 that's the very first dot so I would say no I would say that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 
I would say 27 should be the center. So do I agree? I disagree. Twenty is the first number in the data set. The center should be around twenty seven because that's the halfway point. So then there was more variability in the typing speeds at the beginning of the course than at the end of the course. So the, the students' typing speeds are more alike at the end. Well, that's true. The smaller the spread, the more alike they are. So I agree. I agree. The smaller the spread, the more alike the data is. All right, so then um, today's IXL objective is to create frequency charts. So you're going to go ahead and um, work on some frequency charts. They differ from a tally table. And then you're going to do your lesson five cool down and export this to Canvas.